Can you breathe in for me? Very good. And breathe out. So this is how we can see how good you are doing diaphragmatic breaths. So that is your diaphragm. That's the muscle that lowers in your chest when you breathe in. You see that mm -hmm. arc? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So take a breath for me. Take a regular breath. And then breathe out. Good. And again. And breathe out. Good. Now, not only can we see it, but we can also measure it. So if we had somebody with a lot of pelvic floor pain, because your pelvic floor and your diaphragm move together, we'll also assess how much that diaphragm is moving. Mm -hmm. Because if this guy moves better, then this guy moves better. And if this moves better, there's less tension, more relaxation. Okay. So now take a breath for me. And breathe out. And one more. And breathe out. And one more. That is beautiful. That is great diaphragmatic breathing. This is also great for kids who have issues with constipation because mostly kids who have constipation, um, who have a hard time going to the bathroom or refuse to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. have pain with going to the bathroom, or who have a lot of bedwetting. A lot of bedwetting is because of constipation. These kids will have problems with their bellies and looking at your diaphragm is like key. So this is the first thing we do to get this. And your mobility is 46 millimeters. That is fantastic. Okay. I've seen people with pelvic pain having like five millimeters. They just don't yeah. breathe because they're just doing like chest yeah. breathing and they're not doing this enough. So this is great. Okay. All right, so that is good. Okay.